This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. It's fight week for Dave Allen as he prepares to go to Paris over in France to take on Olympic gold medalist, French boxing hero now. He is the face of French boxing, of course, in Tony Yoka. Uh, Tony Yoka, he beat Joe Joyce in the Olympic final to get his gold medal. A lot of people felt that Joe Joyce got robbed in that. That is what that is. But the fight now is set. It's fight week. And a lot of people are saying that uh, Tony Yoka is going to walk through Dave Allen. No, 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 no. This is not how I see it. I see this as Dave Allen, he's been preparing with some hard, hard training camps over the last several months now, as he's been preparing for Lenroy Thomas. And he said that uh, we're all going to see the best of Dave Allen. So we're not going to see it against Lenroy Thomas. In fact, we're now going to see it against Tony Yoka. Um, hopefully Dave Allen has managed to keep the weight off. I know he managed to put a little bit on. Um, he was in Newcastle this weekend um, when I was there to watch the um, Josh Kelly and Lewis Ritson and Charlie Edwards, etc. Um, I, I didn't get a chance to say hello to him, but um, I did see him over there. But anyway, for me, I think that Dave Allen is going to put on one hell of a performance. And Tony Yoka, I don't see him as the biggest puncher in the world, but certainly a classy operator, no doubt about it. Um, he's probably a better boxer than Dave Allen, but Dave Allen is just going to have to go in there and do something that I know he can do, which is put it on his opponent. Don't stand there and just have like a little trade once in a while, you know, just throw the odd jab. Go in there like a bull in a china shop and run through him. This is what I feel Dave Allen can do. He can do all this in sparring. He's been outboxing people who are far highly ranked than him in sparring in the training. And we've yet to see it in the pro ranks. Maybe this is the time. See, a lot of people will say that Tony Yoka is just going to walk through him. It might happen, but I don't think so. I think Dave Allen is there to win. He's not there just to collect a paycheck, and I'm sure he's getting paid pretty well for it. Otherwise, Eddie Hearn would have talked him out of it. But Dave Allen's going to go there to win because, as he said, you know, it feels strange for him to actually be preparing for somebody else who's not Dave Howe or Lenroy Thomas, which is a fair thing to say. And he says, you know what, even if I lose, then I'll just go on Love Island. If I win, then I'll just beat in the face of French boxing, which is Tony Yoka. And potentially the future of boxing. A lot of people are picking Tony Yoka to be the future. A lot of people would love to see Yoka and Joyce have a rematch, but in the pro ranks. Um, but... For me, I think Dave Allen is being underestimated in this fight. Now, as far as watching it, um, it's not available on UK TV. You can watch it online. Um, whereabouts online, I don't know, but it will be online. Dave Allen has confirmed this. So we'll definitely get to watch it. And I believe in Dave Allen. I believe Dave Allen is going to go there to put it on him. I mean, he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Luis Ortiz and Dillian White. Two fights that, that he should never have been in there with. You know, let's be honest. It was far too early in his career. He had literally bugger all amateur ex um, experience. Did he have, what, five fights as an amateur or not even that? And already he's still at the learning stage. He hasn't even got 20 fights yet, I don't think, for, um, you know, as a pro. His last fight was against Dave Howe, of course, um, where, where he just walked through him. I don't think he meant to walk through him, but he did. Um... And before then was Lenroy Thomas in a rematch for the Commonwealth Heavyweight title, which I believed that Dave Allen was going to win. And I still believe that he won that first fight. Um, I do. I think that uh, the judges scored it wrong. But that's just my opinion. Hey, I can be wrong on this. No problem. But in the rematch, I felt Dave Allen was going to just steamroll Lenroy Thomas, which is going to beat him up bad and knock him out. In the first round, clash of heads happened. These things happen. So the referee put a stop to the fight, called it a draw, which is unfair, um, but ultimately the right thing to do because um, Dave Allen was bleeding pretty bad there. But anyway, I think this fight with Tony Yoka, this could be the coming out for Dave Allen, as in coming out in boxing, not anything else, of course. So I'm looking forward to it. I wish Dave Allen all the best. I'll be cheering him on. I won't be in France, of course. Um, you know, the wife would never let me leave the street. Never mind, go to France on my own. But anyway, I'm a big supporter of Dave Allen. Always have been, always will be. So good luck to him this weekend against Tony Yoka. I hope he pulls off what some people will call an upset. For me, 
I'll just call it a win. And that's what I believe is going to happen. And a win for him in the boxing circles would mean a lot. Um, it means that, um, as Dave Allen says, he won't have to go on Love Island. It just means he's going to postpone Love Island for a while and maybe go on and take on Daniel Dubois or Joe Joyce or someone like that. So this will do his career the world of good. But I understand where people say Tony Yoko is going to be the favourite, and maybe rightfully so. But for me, I believe Dave Allen is going to steamroll him. He's going to pressure him. Just don't let Tony Yoko tee off on you and stay behind that jab. Walk through that jab and start swinging for the fences. Take him out, because you will catch him. Um, I think Tony Yoko is there to be hit. Um, but Tony Yoko is very, very skillful, and he is pretty good on his feet. So he's really going to have to trap him and just unload on him. But I have to wait and see. Good luck, Dave Allen, for my part. Drop your thoughts below for everybody else. Click that thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.